Hello, my name is Lisa Moore and I'm a doctor of physical therapy. I'm a certified cancer rehab professional and a certified lymphedema therapist. If you have questions after this video, you can reach me at reachcancerrehabandwellness.com. Today we're going to talk about self-lymphatic drainage for the right side upper extremity. If you have had surgery, procedure, radiation, lymph node removal on the right breast or armpit, then this is the technique you want to use. If you've had it done on the left side, then you will just reverse this. So this can be both preventative to help support the lymphatic system and the immune system uh, as a preventative measure after any procedures if you do not have lymphedema. It also is a treatment if you do have lymphedema and even if you have very slight lymphedema, it is something that you should do every day. And this is a recommended technique to be done daily. We also recommend that treatment be right on the skin. So you'll see me doing this over my shirt, but whenever possible, you want to be directly on the skin because it is that slight stretch of the skin that really helps to move the lymphatic fluid. It's also a very gentle and a very light technique. You don't need to be aggressive. And if you're pushing so hard that it feels more like a muscle massage, then we're actually compressing the vessels and it's not as effective. So keep it light when in doubt go a little light, lighter. This is a systemic issue, so we do treat the whole system. The better the whole system functions, the better effect you're gonna get in this technique. You can sit like I'm doing, or you can lie down. It helps when your arm can be elevated to use gravity to assist you. When sitting, sometimes I'll use a pillow to prop up the arm as well. Okay. But we'll start with sitting. And the very first thing I do is some belly presses. So I allow a nice full deep breath into my belly. And then on the exhale, do a little squeeze into the belly to help pump and get some lymphatic drainage. So four to five belly breaths, taking our time, allowing the belly to expand using full contact with both hands to help prime the system. There's a lot of drainage that happens through our diaphragm uh, with our breathing. So being able to do that good belly breathing really gets the lymphatic system moving. Next, we're gonna go right above the collarbones and I'm just doing a little circle moving down towards the collarbone, scratching the skin. I may do eight to 10 circles on the right side, eight to 10 circles on the left side. So the skin stretch is moving down and release, down and release, down and release. And then I'll go up a little higher on the neck, maybe come right behind the ear and just you can just do a little stretch down this way or you can do circles stretch down and release stretch down and release again it's not a massage i'm trying to have good contact with the skin it's very light no lotion we don't want to be gliding over the surface we literally want to be stretching the skin and releasing stretching the skin and releasing okay so we've just cleared out the abdomen we've cleared out the neck Next, to support this right system, we're going to access the left system and the right groin. So first, we're going to pump into the left armpit, and I'm just doing some circles up and in just to help with drainage in that left armpit. I'm going to do right armpit. Again, just helping to prime the system, clear out the areas to prep for draining the right arm. And I'm gonna come down in the groin, right in the crease of the groin, and do some circles. Flat hand, flat hand, moving towards the groin or towards the belly button. 
eight to 10 circles. That's generally what I'm doing. Eight to 10 circles in each area before moving on. Okay, we do the belly above the collarbones, the neck, armpit, armpit, groin. And now we're gonna come to the center, the sternum. And again, with a flat hand, I'm trying to help the system come across to the other side. So the lymph system that might be compromised on the right will get support from the left side. So bridging this gap in the middle, I'm doing circle moving towards the left side. So stretch, release, stretch, release with a flat hand, flat hand, eight to 10 times moving now in a circular pattern towards the left armpit. Can cover the left breast, moving in a circular pattern. Can go under the left breast, moving in a circular pattern back to the armpit. So we're going for this healthy right armpit lymph system to help drain away. And then we're gonna come from this side that may have had some, some injury to the lymph system and we're gonna pull, if it feels good, or push. Again, you wanna be right on the skin if possible, and we're stretching. So I could do a little circle, 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 moving to the left. You can go under as well, moving to the left. You can pull, pull. And already I'm probably pushing harder than I need to just so that you can get a visual of this. But it's really just hand on the skin, stretch to the left, release. Stretch to the left, release. Stretch to the release, release. Good. So I'm gonna come back here, do that right armpit again, just because it's a good idea to keep that system going. If there's any swelling in the right breast, you can also try to move that fluid, little stretch to the side body, side area. And we're gonna use the lymph nodes in the right groin to help support this system. So we go here and then we're gonna start here. Sometimes they may do my pillow to kind of prop up, prop up my arm and support it, especially if it's feeling heavy. So we're coming down the side, down the side. Again, if I'm directly on the skin whenever possible, it's not as effective over clothing. Down towards the groin, down towards the groin. You can do just circles, stretch, move up, stretch, move up, stretch, or you can slide down. Okay, good. Now we want to start to work the entire right arm and we have to clear out the traffic. So if there's lymphedema, even if you don't feel it yet, we have to move that backed up traffic from here, then from here, then from here. We can't start at the hand and then try to push it all out. We've got to clear out the pathways first. So I start with the upper arm doing circles. Now I'm moving up, up towards this lymph nodes that we have been working on and towards these that we've cleared out. So I may do eight to 10 circles, moving up, release, up, release. And I'll kind of show you as we get closer. Skin stretch, release, skin stretch, release. Flexible hands that are soft with lots of good contact, moving down, I'm really more on the outside of the arm. You can move it over, kind of sweeping towards the armpit a little bit. And then you can open up your arm here and adjust your hand position. Again, I'm stretching up very lightly. Up, you can see the wrinkle. That's my skin stretch. Wrinkle, release. Wrinkle, release. I'm glad for wrinkles sometimes. Helps us see where we're going. Okay, so we've done the upper inside and outside and then the elbow up, lease up. Good, and then we wanna do the back of the elbow too. And sometimes we can just use our fingers kind of dividing the bony part 
we'll just use our fingers to get around that elbow just a little bit. Help with some of that drainage. That can be a tricky spot to develop lymphedema. Oh, this, by the way, is so you know which arm I'm doing. I should have said that in the beginning. Okay. Front of the elbow, stretching up. Notice I'm really trying to wrap as much of my hand around here as I can. Now, this is also a good time to prop your arm up I'm going again towards the elbow and I can use gravity to assist me. Gravity can assist me. So I'm coming towards the elbow. And I might as well just go all the way up the arm while I'm at it. I'm kind of clearing this whole pathway. All the way up the arm. Good. And then let's do the same thing on the back side. All the way up the arm. Good. Now we're going to do the back of the wrist. So flat hand, flat fingers, as much contact as possible. Moving the skin stretch towards the elbow. Stretch and release. Stretch and release. Same with the back of the hand. Stretch and release, stretch and release. Eight to 10 circles. If it's hard to hold your hand up, you can have it down. Moving towards the wrist, towards the elbow. You can even use your fingers to come. If it's more kind of swollen and a little kind of firmer there, you can use your fingers in between the bones of the hand. And then move back up towards the elbow. Don't forget the fingers. So I like to do each finger front and back as well as side to side. Front and back, side to side. So do five or so passes with each finger, especially if the fingers are swollen. Several passes, each finger, don't forget the thumb. So we've cleared out the arm and now we're gonna work all the way up. And you can use gravity to assist you. So if you're lying on your back and your arm is up while you're doing this, you get even more benefit by having your arm elevated. All the way back up. We just do the inside of the arm. And then we're going to help redistribute that fluid that we just helped to drain from the right arm back across into that armpit, across again to the other side. And you can do more than one pass here to help move this fluid that we've drained from the right arm over to the other side. You can do a pass below as well. And then another sweep down the right side towards the right groin. Four or five times here. Back to the neck. Actually feels really good. It's very relaxing. Upper. So I just kind of cross my hands over, pulling downward. And then back to the belly. Last one. Wonderful. Now you just did manual lymphatic drainage for the right extremity, assuming any injury, removal of lymph nodes, surgery, radiation that happened on the right side. If you have any questions, you can find me at reachcancerrehabandwellness.com.
peace and health. Thank you.